you challenge somebody to do something that requires boldness. I don't think you meant the victory definitely. Oh, did you mean the competition? Yeah. Oh, the competition. Um, that's been pretty good, actually. <laughs> um, it's been all right. Sorry, sorry. He's Why very tired. He's very tired. That's an easy mistake. Yeah. See, we took something that was meant to be a joke for the cameras, and it's now turned into a cheesy catchphrase. Yeah. Furnace Games, we're developing a uh, 3D Connect title using um, two dragons, and the players will basically be facing off against each other over a, a big disc world. Uh, well, the first week, it's been great, first of all, to meet all the other teams and to find just everybody else who's really into games like we are. Uh, we are the Digital Knights, representing Scandinavia, the Scandinavian team. Uh, our game is called Joust, and we make me a Connect Jousting game. It's a competition. I, I mean, before coming here, I really didn't know about about the there. And then after that, I knew that it was a competition. I was I was happy for being a competition. But here, really, I feel that the other people that they have that feeling of a competition. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like a competition at the moment, but it's early doors yet, I guess. <laughs> Everyone's friends at the moment. <laughs> Uh, our team is the APIs, uh, our game is Paper Quest, and it's basically a Kinect uh, flying adventure game. And we sort of started with the idea of what do we want to make for Kinect. We were really into the idea of making a game for Kinect, so we kind of came up with the idea from thinking about what the Kinect can do and what you can do with it. We're Team Techno, and our game is Full English Fusion. We've enjoyed it so far, it's only like day five though so far. Uh, so everyone's getting along and it's sort of interesting seeing what everyone's up to and all their different games. Our team name is Rebel Donut and our game name is Plunger in the Jungle. I mean, we, we really have to get the game running because it's only well, eight and a half weeks we really have to work with. We have to get something out very, very fast. Um, if we don't, the game's going to really fall flat. Yeah, it's really good at, you know, atmosphere and uh, it's, it really gives us like a good impression of you know, what the working environment is like you know, in the games industry. Our team name is Crispy Nugget Studios and we are building a Kinect game. The game is called uh, Galaxy Guardian. Ba basically it's a superhero flying game. That's what we're doing for the Kinect. Yeah, yeah it's been really good actually. Um, I mean, long hours, we're still alive though. <laughs> yeah, it's only yeah. day five and After five days. Shattered, but, <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. I'm really glad. It's, it's amazing to be able to actually work on something um, you know, that we've come up with. And yeah, it's been really good. The facilities are incredible. So um, we're called Yummy Tommy. So the game's called Who is the Lucky Ghost and you, it's a multiplayer game. You want to try and be the first like, really large multiplayer game done by Dare. You, it's a tilting arena and um, they've got players running around, the aim of the game is to survive. Whoever survives the round then controls the arena and makes it difficult for the other players. We're Team Swallowtail and our game's called TikTok Toys. Uh, it's a iPad game because there's so many different ways that you can interact with it, like tilting and touch. Um, that's, it's sort of, hopefully our game will fit right in on it, it's sort of the different ways that you can use it. The fact that we're all here doing it at the same time is really exciting. Can't wait for a pro to play. I wish, I wish something like this had existed when I was at college. <laughs> that would have just been the most, like a dream come true to go on something like this. Um, our team is called the Weather Factory, we're from Ireland, and the name of the game is The Balloonist. I actually think the best thing about everyone in um, this competition is that everyone's so helpful. Yeah, they're, they're um, all willing to help yeah. and to give us a hand and show us things. And yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a great environment, it's more of a camaraderie than a rivalship between. Yeah. different teams. So we haven't seen much rivalries yet, but um, we're competitive in this. Everyone seems to want to help each other and get to the end. And especially the Aberdeen students, they've been, you know, the Aberdeen teams, they've been, it's, uh, I can say, uh, more than helpful. Uh, we're Fat Dog Games, and our game is the Tale of Yogg, a isometric dungeon crawler on the iOS, and the player takes on the role of Yogg, who's a Viking, and essentially the player has to use Yogg to sort of recruit this, you know, whole host of uh, characters and um, use their abilities together to accomplish, you know, goals. And have a group of people who aren't that great alone, get them together and show that as a team like this, you can work together and create something It's a metaphor. Really decent. Yeah, <laughs> metaphor. So these guys can, in theory, go straight from the day of competition and start selling that product straight away. One of the, one of the games did that last year, they're, they're selling on iOS right now. So. It's a really good thing from them to see the public playing the game and see if there is any appeal and if there is a market there for that because it's not, like you say, it's not just going straight into somebody else's company, they could potentially form their own company. Uh, we're Fireway Games and we're making ADA for the Apple iPad. 
It's a 2D game, a side-scrolling platform game where you have to get the character of Ada through some repeating levels, but you don't control her, you control the environment around her instead. Mainstream video games can be really, really stale, really repetitive, really, really boring, really wanted to do something different. And there is a slight shift in, you know, uh, design-wise, um, mostly amongst indie developers and stuff, towards more emotional, more, more uh, deep experiences. Uh, the team name is Evolve Day. Uh, and we're making a game called uh, Dreamweaver. Uh, as they go through this adventure, they, the dream will become a nightmare where the companion um, tries to eat them. So uh, it has a nice twist to the game, so they have to escape. Uh, we're developing it on the PC using the Unity engine. A lot of fun, actually. Uh, long hours, but it's been a lot of fun uh, seeing other teams coming up with good ideas, seeing our team come up with good ideas. A lot of fun. Our team name is Funbox and the game is called Ants The Lost Memories. Uh, a game involved is actually uh, it's a third person game, it's an adventure game, and uh, but we have included uh, uh, side scrolling to it and vertical scrolling. We've been wanting to get into the industry for a long time and this is that stepping stone. Um, so to get recognised enough to get into there is a, is a big deal. Be a part of there, I can say as in my CV also, say I. I went to the there, so it's a positive sign. Um, yeah. We are an, a necessary evil, and our game is Carney Carney, a 2D puzzle platformer with a tasty twist. Um, it's been a struggle from the beginning. We've um, run into a few problems along the way, but yeah, everything's going along relatively smoothly. So it's something you create and put together, working for weeks and weeks and weeks, that so someone can sit down and well, obviously we're all we all enjoy games, so it's great that someone else can sit down and possibly enjoy our game. The same way you've enjoyed others, it's just it's a it's a great feeling. So this. The name of the team is Digital Hazards, and our game is Shadow Life. Uh, it's a 3D puzzle platformer, but in a 2D perspective. You've uh, you've got a torch that you can shine on uh, enemies and stuff, and you can kind of see you see into the future when the light hits something. It is as it would be uh, at some point in the future. But yeah, it's been great. It's been really fun. I'm enjoying what I've been doing. It's exciting and a bit stressful, I guess, because we're really going to deliver something good. Mm. When we did it uh, nine years ago, I think at nine, ten years ago, I did it. There wasn't any help from middleware, or the, the, there wasn't as much sponsorship in the, the competition, so that they get a wee bit more help in that sense. But it just means the expectation levels have risen as well, so that they, they expect the games to be that much better because they've got that kind of leg up to start with. And you know, ten weeks is a massive chance for anyone, let alone students. I mean, a professional company even struggle to do that, and that. The uh, time span as well, so I mean, it's, it's amazing. Well, you know, it works week four already, like, I mean. I just, I, it's just, it's just hit me so fast. Like, I can't even like fathom how quickly it's gone. <laughs> what to do? Well, we've got 29 days to finish a game, so <sighs> stressing a bit. <laughs> also, with the mentors coming in, there's been a few times where we've thought we were going to do things one way. We've had more experienced people talking to us and telling us what will work and what won't work, and we've ended up changing the path completely. We started out with like three mechanics. One was like flying, the other one was pumping, and another one was like winding it and turning a crank and kind of winding something up. But people found that was really difficult because you had to sort of turn away from the connect and, and move your body and do unnatural things with your arms. So we had to change that a few times. I think we all underestimated how long this was going to take. Um, at first, we were sort of really confident. You know, this this is a lot of time to make a game in. At, at, we're at this stage now. Um, just over a third of the way through, and we're like, mm, maybe we underestimated how much, you know, how little, how little time this is to make a full game. Well, our, our initial plan was a bit ambitious, so uh, we've fallen behind, but we've left ourselves a lot of breathing room uh, for anything we need to, you know, pick up on later on. Yeah, almost big changes. We had to change almost the whole game. Yeah, so yeah. for us it, now it's much better because the game it looks better and the controls are working better. So it means that we had to work harder for in water. We updated our engine halfway through to fix big lighting bugs and that took us two days to convert in terms of much well, get off. Also our game it relies a lot on transparency and particle systems and the iPad we found out doesn't have much support for transparency so it's 
That's caused quite a few problems, we have to redo a lot of things. We've had to shorten our level, because um, it was originally two levels. But um, after talking to Blitz Games and people, they sort of said we should probably just do one. So we've managed to cram everything in one level, which is a lot more nicer on the art side anyway. So Yeah, I think we can absolutely help them in that. And you know, whether it's tweaks to the design or whether it's you know just advising them on how to schedule the kind of the remainder of the work or whatever. Like getting getting the, the core mechanics working, it's not hard. We we, we got pretty much all of the core stuff done within the t first two, three weeks. But it's the, it's the refinement, play testing. As you run through the game, you notice little things that need tweaking, and those tweaks take the most amount of time. Making the game fun, making it look attractive, they're the things that take the most time, really. A lot of things have changed, but nothing's gone really bad. There's always going to be problems and small things that uh, muck up, but nothing nothing catastrophic yet, but there's always time. So the team, so the game's together, but now we're starting to polish a lot of it. Um, we're preparing a lot for our focus test uh, this Friday, I think. So we've got lots of kids coming in and actually play the game, so we're trying to make it playable before then. So we can like watch how they interact with it and then we can iron out issues afterwards. We've got the kids coming on on Friday now to play test. Um, so we've got a lot to go on this week, we know how useful that's going to be um, for play testing. So just say yeah, I got to stick in this week and probably some late nights, but We'll get there. We do sleep. Um, we come in at the weekends, but we, you know, we just get it done. Not common that I've got eight hours a day to spend doing what I want and then get to carry it on in the evenings as well. It's, uh, it's brilliant. Yeah, for Pro to Play, pretty much all the mentors are constantly telling us that for Pro to Play, you only have 10 minutes, make sure it's 10 minutes because if you do something too complicated, people will come, they don't have time to learn it and you'll get nothing out of it. So. There's no point doing it. Like you have to gear it towards that sort of circumstance. Our our game from the rest of the, the movement of our games and the motion. It's a really silly, fun movement, and it's great having the mentors come along and play our game. Yeah, it's a great so, icebreaker as well. But I mean, the the guys that come in are really cool. You don't have the feeling they're up top. They're really friendly. They they you you meet them on an equal level in the way that they they're here to give you advice. And it's really relaxing. It's not like you're like, oh my god, oh my god, it's a rock star dude or the, the people from Crytek are home. I mean, they're humans, and so we and the meetings have been really nice. Yeah. Yes. We've only had ten weeks in total to, to make these games. So it's really really impressive. Uh, these guys uh, will be entering the games industry very shortly, and we're just trying to help them know, get off to a good start. I think uh, I think the guys like the the rock star goodie bags are already wearing the caps and the t-shirts and things. So I think one guy gave me a hug. <laughs> week and a half left now so we've got quite a bit to do still I'm feeling confident but it's kind of that nervous confidence that you're just right at the end and you know you've got to get down but it's still yet to do so yeah it's feeling good we've avoided a lot of pitfalls we've done quite well but now it's largely on just uh, doing what can be done to push it that a little bit further uh, it's brilliant it's near the end nearly got a full, <laughs> yeah. fully working game now huh? Yeah, it's all sort of coming together, which is a really great feeling. Just a lot of polish now. Yeah, tidying things up, making sure everything works properly, making them impossible to break, yeah. or at least trying to. Mm, not only you should prepare for the creation of your game, you should also build your body. <laughs> you should be healthy to work <laughs> as long as you can. Because obviously now we're very tired. And it was nap time. Great. Yeah, it was nap time. Ah, uh, really sleep deprived. <laughs> Stress levels are high. Sleep levels are low. Sleep levels are low. <laughs> good, yeah. It's a good combination. Yeah. yeah, we were into about. Well, I was into about eleven. I don't know what time. Obviously, you're near twelve-ish. I spent the entire weekend trying to write music for it. I spent up for about thirty-six hours. Greg did the same earlier on in the week. Yeah, we've done three all-nighters so far, like, and there's, well, there's still a week and a half to go, so I doubt we'll be getting much sleep. Uh, there was times where we were up for 38 hours and sleep for about four hours and then straight back in again the next morning, so you start to know the security guards pretty well. Yeah. And there's been some some interesting creative differences, but they've they've all been for the best. They've all been sort of things that were important and worked out the right way. So. There's been no severing of friendships yet, and unless everyone's sort of severed their friendship with me and I don't know about it yet, which is possible. Yeah. Might be a good year for the Connect, like, so I'm a bit confident. It's iPads were were last year's kind of thing. 
So I'm hoping this year Connect will hopefully win something at least. Because I think Connect is really cool and it's a really good thing to get groups of kids really involved at pro play. But at the same time, there's a lot of iPad competition here. There's four iPad games are going to be there, so that's the same amount of like four iPad for four Connect games. So it's a pretty fair competition. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Personally, I think we'll beat them. Yeah, personally, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll be, yeah. definitely iPad, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll be an iPad, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, um, I'm feeling really good. The past eight weeks have been a bit of a blur, but um, in a good way, and it's good to see um, what we started from, which was kind of basically nothing, to something that's really polished. It's amazing, really. It's gone really quickly. Yeah, I personally am very happy with how it's turned out. I think we've all worked exceptionally hard, especially these past few weeks. And it's just a case of really driving it home and making it that final polish thing that we want. Uh, yeah, the kids coming in just helped calm us down, yeah, as well as exactly. make us nervous for an entire week beforehand. <laughs> yeah, I think go to play would be much more daunting if it, you didn't have the small test beforehand. Mm. The kids were really great, like just people that haven't seen a game before, come in, play it, fail. In some cases, it really makes you think of what you're actually doing. Helps to get a step back. Yeah, we really enjoy the kids breaking our game. <laughs> it was really nice having the kids in. They really enjoyed it, and it was just like the ideas that they came up with was really cool. It's just nice to talk to to our audience. Mm. I think because we've been looking at the game now for like seven weeks or whatever it's been, it's just it's hard to tell how it's going to be received. But I think once it gets out there, it'll be a lot more exciting. It was even good whenever the kids were in playing it, because yeah. you were nervous about it. It was the first time people, gamers, playing your game, but it was, it was a good feeling seeing all these things you've made. Someone playing it and enjoying it with a smile on their face. Honestly, I actually thought the kids were possibly more helpful, because the mentors came in and say things, whereas the kids are incredibly brutal. Whereas the mentors try and, might try and say, this might change, the kids instantly go, I don't like this, I do like this, which gives you a very clear, clear yes or no. I know what I want to do now. Yeah. Um, like, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. What? The same, same for me. I mean, I was kind of a jack of all trades, and I'm like, I just don't do that. That's just the wrong thing to do. It's, it's a lot more like exciting to be working on on these things in small teams with your friends, you know, and learning so many different skills that you come out of there like a completely different person than you were before, you know. So, it really, is like a game changer, basically. I think we've enjoyed uh, it. You know? It's been fun. We'll enjoy it more when it's over, probably. Then we'll look back on the whole chapter. <laughs> it's a unique mixture of crunch and fun. It's like I'm always twofold. Where's my summer holidays? And then this is awesome. It's great. I'm working uh, on a cool game. So I just feel really privileged to be here. Loved it. Um, really stressful, but um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good for my country that we uh, come from India and we participate here. So I'll encourage other people to come here and get the, get the feel of the industry, get, uh, get advice from the industry people. It's a good experience for me and I like others to experience that. If I loved you know, meeting people, the mentors who you've read about, whose games you know. I mean, I've learned so much from there, it's unbelievable. I mean, I was looking at, back at some work that I did even six weeks ago and thinking, what was I doing? <laughs> so yeah, no, it's, it's such a great experience. And in a way, I'm kind um, of surprised that people want to spend time with each other outside yeah, exactly, the office, yeah. and they still do, yeah. so it's a good thing. It's, it's cool. Um, and uh, I love the, every team, of their team. I worry it's amazing. I think it's fantastic. It's been one of the most enjoyable experiences of my life, especially at university. And, and <laughs> I would do it again if I, if I could. It's probably the best thing mm -hmm. I've done. And I really love there to be doing so. Yeah, excited. For pro play mainly. We're nearly done. We're at the stage where it's like you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and it looks like it'll be fun. <laughs>
a bit warm, but everybody seems to be having loads of fun. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot busier than I thought it would be. I'm not exactly surprised, but definitely very thrilled and relieved. It's blown us away how many people have been through and played. I mean, we've got four iPads down here and we've still had queues. We've got the most iPads out of everyone and we're still getting queues. It's been good, it's been backed up all day, which is the way we want it really. That's probably a bad way. It's been full. When you see hundreds of kids sit down playing your game, it, it makes it seem all worth playing. And it's really great to see the enthusiasm coming out of people, seeing the kids playing the games and the students that have created them together. I think it's fantastic, given the short amount of time that they have had, in what, what they've managed to do, but also I hope for the students as well. There's something fantastic when you've made something and you show it to other people. There's a real buzz you get from that, and you can sort of see that in the students' faces. I am exhausted. It's just, uh, but it's brilliant. The kids are keeping me going. It has been so amazing to see people play your game, and they're having fun. Little children jumping and laughing. It's. I'm really tired, but. I'm so excited about this, so I don't really care. The adults are playing. Yeah. They're more mature. Well, they're kind of more mature. It's going amazingly well. We've actually had people come back and say they want to buy the game. Some of the parents have told us that they're actually going to vote for us. So, yeah. To um, and as well, we've had uh, a couple of the industry people have given us a lot of support as well. Um, Someone from Disney came over and said she really liked it and she was going to vote for it, so we were like... <laughs> we would have picked up more votes if we would have remembered to hand out the leaflets. <laughs> so that was a bit of a schoolboy error. We've been confined to chairs for eight and a half weeks and now we've got to stand up for three days. Firstly, well done for getting to the stage you're at today. Um, and hopefully it, it, will, it provides a really powerful start for when you're working out what to do. Um, don't underestimate how hard it is to get a game to market because there's a lot more to, than just sort of game ideas to make that possible. But having said that, you know, you're a long way along the route and so, you know, don't lose heart. Uh, whether it's working at a company like ours or whether it's working on your own or whether it's some combination of, of the two, you know, good luck and have fun. And the winner is Digital Nights with Joust. <laughs>Intel Visual Agenda Award. He's awesome. <laughs> You're awesome. Beyond awesome. Uh, Evolved Ape with Dreamweaver. <laughs> We've won a BAFTA nomination for being at Dirt for Digital for eight weeks, developing a game. And we pulled through as a team and done really well. We've been very impressed about how much they've been able to do in such a small amount of time. I'm sure most of them, if not 100% of them, they all have a lot to bring to an industry which is always looking for talents. So I definitely think it's a great initiative and other countries should learn from that.
my mum and dad. Hi, hello, Mr. and Mrs. O'Halloran. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be sat next to you while you watch this. So just, just, just. We just, probably just, won't. Okay, I might not. We, but might, we might be. Bye.